summer people and welcome to our review of Kung Fu Panda 3. Connor, what is this movie about? Kung Fu Panda 3 is the new um the new sequel to Kung Fu Panda. And uh there's Kung Fu Panda 1, Kung Fu Panda 2. And as I rewatched um Kung Fu Panda 2 and Kung Fu Panda 3, they were much better than I remember. Rewatched? You saw Kung Fu Panda 3 twice? Well, as I rewatched the I second one. Yeah. Well, Kung Fu Panda is better than I remember, so I got really excited for this movie. And it was pretty good. Well, I should be telling you what it's about. Um, it is about a panda who knows kung fu. What do you think nice. About um, I was really underwhelmed by this movie. I was expecting a lot more. I mean, it's a good movie and it's entertaining. It's just nowhere close to two. I mean, yeah, I, no, two is definitely. Better. I just, I'm not a big fan of the franchise. I, a lot of people love one. I don't like one. I've never liked one, and I never understood why people liked one. I, I should rewatch one because I didn't watch that since I was like eight. Yeah, and then seven. like I I remember thinking two was okay, and then I watched it again. I'm like, oh, okay, this is good. Yeah. And I went in thinking, you know, bad, good. Does that mean? But really, it kind of just went there for me. I mean, I just I didn't love this movie, and I didn't even like it that much. I thought it was good. Um, I thought that there was some great fight choreography for an animated movie. There's, there's always great fight choreography yeah. in Kung Fu Panda movies. That's that's the shining part of one, and even the shining part of two, even though two's great. It's just, the fight choreography is amazing. Um, I thought that it's really heartfelt at times. It really, it you know, you just feel good. And how, and like, it's, the, they have two fathers, and both fathers really like the son. Yeah, and that that part, whole part of the movie is probably the best part of the movie. Yeah, that that that's definitely the best part. Um, I thought that the animation is great. The animation, awesome. Yeah, the this... the pandas look great. The backgrounds look great. It looks really green. Um, I thought that the villain, though he needed more backstory, I thought it was menacing. I mean, yeah, he was he, very menacing. he traps people. He traps their souls and like and makes them fight for him. That's just, it's and, just and a menacing it's, it's villain. It's a really great idea. Yeah, it's a, it's a great idea. And the messages about family, though they were a tad beat over your head, they are like, messages, messages, messages. I thought that they were really heartfelt and really well done messages. Yes. Um, I really liked this movie. The opening, I really liked, like... The opening. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a clever way to I, I, show the logo. Yes. And, um, I, I thought it was pretty funny. There were some really funny... Uh, liners. Most of them were in the trailer, but there yeah. were some that weren't in the trailer that are like, "Oh, that's kind of funny." Um, it was really great. Um, the score. Oh my god, the Score's score. Pretty good. Jack Black. I I don't know how many times I can say this, but Jack Black is perfect for that role. Yeah, he is definitely perfect. So yeah. Um, the the only thing I, I uh, it it was um not as good as two, but. There's another thing I really didn't understand. What? Okay, um, and the fight, like, you know they're green when they're evil. Yeah. And the green guys attacked them earlier. So, how did they not know that the green guys were bad when they attacked them again? They thought, oh yeah, they're your friend. What? No, ah, you're kidding me. Yeah. Like, seriously, you should understand that, that they're a different color, except for Mantis. He's already green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a little obvious. Um, now... There's quite a few things I didn't like about this movie. Again, like you said earlier, most of the jokes are shown in the trailers or the TV spots. To the point that I either knew exactly when a joke was phrased. I'm like, okay, this joke that I saw from this TV spot is going right here. And it went yeah. right there. It was just yeah, so like, easy. The chicken line. Like, I saw yeah. it from, like, every TV spot. Yeah, and I thought that would be a funny line. I'd laugh at the movie. I'd laugh at it in the movie. It's just I had seen it 5,000 times before. Yeah. And they and they had a huge marketing push on this movie. So you saw a lot of it everywhere. So I thought that that was just a little off. Um, I thought that the villain, like I said earlier, should have had more scenes. And he should have had backstory. backstory yeah. He was just came in there. It's, he's like, I'm evil and I like to trap things. He was menacing. But he had no reason to trap people. Unlike he was... Kung Fu Panda 2. He actually had a reason. Yeah, and he had, he had a great backstory and everything. I just, I, I thought that that was kind of lacking. It feels uneven. It's just like, okay. It, like, literally, the whole thing is about, oh, um, Poe is going to train the pandas. That happens in the last, that happens an hour and 15 minutes into the hour and 30 minute movie. Yeah, and that's it's... what I felt too. It was like, okay, it's an hour into the movie and they still haven't gotten yeah. to... Yeah, and they sp just they spoiled everything in the trailer. I was they expecting did. so much more. You never really got to see the Furious Five fight. Yeah. You did, like you saw them like fighting the people once, but then it's then like they got trapped. 
Yeah, and it's almost like that fight was bad anyway because it's just Poe going like, oh my gosh, it's that guy that I like. Oh, what? why did you see hurting me? Um, and I thought that it felt really long. I just... I did not feel that. I felt like it would not end. It was just going on and on and on and on. And I, I didn't felt, feel that. It's, it's, yeah. I just I I thought too, that. If you really liked it too, you'll like this movie. It's not a movie you'll love. But you'll like it. You'll I definitely think, like yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll appeal to kids, and it'll teach them good messages about family. I just don't really like it. It's If it wasn't part of the Kung Fu Panda franchise, it would be highly forgettable for me. It's not a movie that's going to stay in my mind. And overall, I think it's okay. And the more and more I thought about it, the more and more I dislike it. I give Kung Fu Panda 3 a 5.5 5 out of 10. Wow. I'm giving Kung Fu Panda 3 a 7.9 out of 10. 7.9, all right. Well, uh, the one movie we're comparing it to, because we're doing two reviews this week, we're only comparing each movie to one, uh, we're going to pair, compare this movie to, to Kung, Kung Fu, Fu Panda, Panda 2. 2. So, Con what do you, Connor, what do you think of Kung Fu Panda 2? I love Kung Fu Panda 2. Yeah. It's really enjoyable, and it, it's really mature at the same time. Like, they're, like, everyone could enjoy it. Like, Kung Fu Panda 3 is more geared towards kids, but Kung Fu Panda 2, a lot of kids will love it, and s adults will love it too. Um, I like when, how, whenever he sees the eye, he automatically gets a flashback to his parents, and the animation there, oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah. Again, great animation, a great score, wow, and, I have to say, amazing animation, they have a scene where a building's falling down, and it looks really realistic. Yeah. Um, action sequences are awesome. Yeah, I just really like this movie. Yeah, I, I love this movie as well. The villain is so great. He's just, he's evil. He's menacing. He has a backstory. He has an emotional side. And he's constantly just ruining Poe's Poe's life. Just every time he sees him. I thought it went by in a jiffy. It's just like, the movie yeah. feels like 20 minutes. You're like, oh my god, it's already over? It's And it goes at such a great pace. The fight choreography is amazing. It looks, it, it, I mean, sometimes it looks robotic, but then again, you realize that these people are, like, the best at kung fu in the world. You know, they're, it's great. I love how they just, they set up the world. It's a great animation, highly enjoyable movie that I think everyone should check out. Yes. I give Kung Fu Panda 2 an 8 out of 10. I give Kung Fu Panda 2 a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10. All right. So, my order, I'm just going to throw on Kung Fu Panda, even though we didn't have it. I'd say Kung Fu Panda 2, 3, 1. I'd agree. I'm the same. You agree on the same? All right. So, all right. Look forward to the finest hours review coming. And next weekend, we will have Hail Caesar. Uh, yes. Ne next to Hugo and Birdman. All right. Get excited for those reviews. So I'm Robert Burke. And I'm Connor Gilbert. And this is The Clever Critics. Goodbye.